Well, uh, I'm not going to uh, give a lot of surprises. Somebody told me that I am famous here in speaking about Bach. And I asked Sam, Sam said, you know, deliberately I kept uh, minor details about which category to grow, how, and et cetera, because unnecessarily you will start speaking on Bach. So when Vikram called me up that, Avinash, will you speak on why TV will survive in the digital onslaught? I said, this is an interesting topic uh, because I do not completely agree with the topic. So let's just start with that first. Uh, first of all, uh, the fallacy of this question that whether the news TV will survive. Sorry. It has now been almost a decade at least, uh, and everyone has been speculating over the survival of television as a medium of informa information, and within that, there is a specific targeting of news as an option on TV. I can tell you uh, the medium that I work on, uh, which is the news television, everybody in the room, uh, everybody in the world is an expert on how I should run or we should run our business, what we should carry, and why we are mostly in controversy even as of day before yesterday what happened. From experts to drawing room, uh, pointiff to accepted wisdom seems to be that news will disappear from TV sooner than later because it is more dynamic and freely available on digital devices now. I will just do a small poll here and amongst my friend, how many of you have watched television news yesterday? Quite a lot. In last one month, well, it's a, it's a quite a good audience, Sam. You know, when I go to colleges, uh, uh, there are, if I say one month, then five people raise their hand. But what is interesting is that they have watched my anchor or many prominent anchor shows yesterday. They have not watched it on the big screen. So despite the naysayers and the doomsday predictors, the medium survives not just in India, but all across the world. Today, not a single nation exists which does not have television news as a, as a big thing. Not a superpower like USA, not a tech giant like China, Korea, Japan, where news is no longer available on television. Yet everyone and every day we face the question, will news TV survive the digital onslaught? Let us look at some figure. As per Bach, news on TV has seen a 6% growth in the gross reach or tune-in in the pre to post COVID from 2019 to 2022. In the same period, there has been a 20% increase in the news on the di digital delivery platforms, which means that there has been a cumulative aggregate growth of about 11%, which is quite a size as compared to, you know, what we, we can assume in any business where we are uh, creating everyday news content on the news TV. The fallacy of the question also lies, Vikram, in the fact that news as a source of information has not lost its vigor. And as long as people are interested in watching news, it will consume across a variety of platforms as per the convenience of the consumer. I still cannot forget an evening, Vikram, when you called me up, I was in the car still going back home, uh, and there was a massive news break about one of our ex-colleagues. And he said, I said, where it is coming? He said, it's on your TV. It's the AVP news which has broken this news. And is it true? Now today, unfortunately, that breaking is happening on Twitter as we go. At that time, Twitter and Facebook were not as prominent as what it is today. So what is happening is that same person is likely to watch news across different modes of delivery, depending on the time of the day, opportunity, and mood. This also means that those questioning TV news either forget or are unaware that television remains not only a viable option for news, but it is the mother load and the spin-off to a number of variables that get repackaged and repurposed across digital platforms. It makes business sense to have news on TV. That means that news will stay on the idiot box because intelligent people want that option. Let's look at the past of the television news a bit. Television as a business is not more than three decades old, if I can say. News television particularly is not more than two, two, a little over two decades old. And TV has played a seminal role in upheaval that saw the 
actually the emancipation of information. When globalization and opening of the Indian economy gave wings to people's desires to instantly aware they turn on the TV to fuel their imagination. Wars, World Cup, regime change, humanitarian crisis, scientific innovations to musical icons, and television death, televised death, anything anywhere around the world was telecast into Indian home. I am often, actually even today, uh, you know, we have a, we have constantly been reminded by regulators that what kind of news should be aired at what time of the day, because uh, what has now hap what is now happening is that that the power of video has gone from the big broadcaster to the to the everyone that's sitting here or outside, right? And the kind of video that is coming, kind of video that is coming is is very very different than what uh, you could have imagined about five years or ten years ago. Just to give you an example, uh, uh, you know, there was a time when Iraq was attacked in the second, second war of Gulf War that we call. And the most momentous moment in the Iraq's history is Saddam Hussein statue being pulled down. And most television channels televised it over eight hours, seven hours, uh, continuously showing that, before that and after that. Today, such kind of television, what we call the good television, is happening on the street of India every day. And that's where, as a, as a, as a, as a medium owner, we have a choice as to what to show and what not to show. So we are flooded with information. And the problem is this, that even if you don't want to show, somebody has already seen it through social media. So TV news, which actually transformed from being an exercise to channeling government information to a viable business proposition, and had to balance journalistic ethics with its market consideration. TV news in India, at least in the last 30 dramatic years that I have seen, Sam, has been on the roller coaster ride, having fulfilled its obligation to society. The popularity and pull of TV news channels grew in leaps and bounds, and the first decade of the news century saw channels after news channels joining the news business. Even this year, even despite the tough year that Sam just uh, showed it to us that how difficult it would be for the addicts of the overall TV business, two news channels have been launched in the last two months. What it has done is that it has extended its reach and audience across variable geographies and diverse focuses. In 2007, across seven seas, when Mr. Jobs decided to launch Apple, it actually changed the way television is being watched anywhere in the world. Because what it did is that a good quality screen came into the palm of your hand. And that's Apple iPhone, then seen as a luxury item, went on to spur an entire universe of smartphone clones that redefined the consumption exchange of information in the years to come. So what impact it had? The bigger impact of the smartphone industry was felt on the broadcast television. And now I'm on your sites, Vikram that news included as a society was fast adapted to an increasingly digital, mobile, and social media-driven environment, where most people began going towards and getting their news mainly through smartphones. In India, it took some time to take hold of this situation and rush to the TV and ensure that the impact was not immediate. But it would not be an ostrich if one did not, did not acknowledge the threat because the TV news business is dependent on the conveyor belt system meaning that the older viewer fade away, newer generation takes their place, which is where the threat is as such, where the young Indians, and I, that's why I did that poll, young Indians see my worst to sitting in one place and view news. Just now, I, some days back, uh, the New York Times published a report that total attention span about 10, days back, 10 years back was about roughly about uh, uh, three minutes, and now it has reduced to 44 seconds. Uh, Gauravjit and I were on the MMA board and they said that six seconds is the maximum attention a kid can give. So I do not know what is the future of TV commercials and the brand building if that remains so. But young Indian today in particular relies more on social media to find news than watching it on TV or reading it on the print. Pandit after Pandit, referencing growing smartphone uses and decreasing TV viewership opined that TV, the news variety in particular, was on the way trip to oblivion. But let me tell you, it is not so. Despite the negativity, the broadcast television is not dead. 
not just here in India, but everywhere in the world, it is equally true for News TV. It is alive and kicking across the globe, and there are very definitive reasons for its continuation, both on the medium of information diffusion as well as for the business prospect. With the rapid shifting of audience from television to digital, staying relevant in the broadcast media is actually a challenge. And there is also a necessity to maintain long-term viability. Now, how do we do that? Rather than hanging up our boots, news television is going through a period of rapid adjustments, essentially transforming from serving a TV-only audience at home, we are now serving audience no matter where they are, going from a big, becoming a TV broadcaster to an overall broadcaster. The onslaught of the digital platforms meant that news channels had to broad-base their landscape to stay with the time. So news channels actually have started expanding their reach to mobile phones, tablets, laptops, social media, and then began uploading all kinds of content on streaming platforms. News channels have not only made live streaming of their channel available on digital platform, but also made exclusive content available to the digital audience only. Take, for example, the CNN hit program Chasing Live with Sanjay Gupta. That was made available across platform and gained a worldwide audience in its different avatars, from TV channels, news and general, to YouTube, to podcasts, to Spotify, and including on Apple. This shows the resilience of the content originally made for TV, but that can be shared across different mediums. According to our own FIKI ENY Media and Entertainment Report of March 21, the online uh, audience in 2022, uh, 2020 grew to its widest reach with 454 million mobile and desktop users on new sites. Portals and aggregators in comparison to 450 million online entertainment users, which is a quite a sizable number for news. For TV across all news or genre, increased to 875 in 20, from 875 in 2018 to 918 in 2022, which is average weekly reach going from 718 to 759 in the same period, which is an evidence enough that India is still a growing market for television and certainly for news TV. If you look at uh, news in the 21st century, uh, it's now no more about appointment viewing. It is not at 9 p.m. that we used to go back home and watch Dr. Roy uh, on the set, you know. Rather, news is today a whole day multi-platform affair. Throughout the day, the information is accessed through across different delivery medium. While on the move, the crisper version of the social media where there is a bit more time than digital platforms and the same news in detail is also accessed at length on TV when at home. I have seen millions of people that we interact with over a period of a year that they watch something on the mobile through social, but when they go home, they watch the same TV news channels on the big screen. In the case of the big ticket news events like drama of the general election, which is just about a year away we are, and still be unthinkable for most of us not to be watching this excitement on big television. TV news will survive the digital onslaught by adopting to the changing requirements of the business. And those of us who are doing it are still doing better than the industry. And the future of TV news is on the dynamics of the news gathering and news presentations, which will continue as the main product of TV and its distribution through different medium today. TV news is already embracing a change, primarily in the connected TV ecosystem. Most of us are available today on the connected TV. Over 10 million homes are with the connected TV now. And the share of a smart TV in India, overall in TV shipment, has reached 24% in 2021, compared to just 67% in 2020. Services like GeoFiber, Amazon Fire Stick, Tata Play Binge, allows access to content of various providers through the content aggregator mode. And today, the con content aggregators are the biggest distributor of the news, uh, news uh, on different platforms, including on TV. So this will become the new landing page and on placement and marketing revenue for television industry. TV news faces its biggest challenge today of attracting new viewers, which, which we are also looking at how to get them onto the main big screen. In actually the data-driven digital world, News TV establishes role as an information aggregator 
aggregator being a term that is being well understood by the digital only generation, it's important that today in the digital world, everything at the click of the screen, but all the news and all the information akin to the massive library of information books about everything that ever happened in the world, all laid out on the floor, all accessible, but nothing is indexed. There is no news aggregator than the TV itself. Many of our Hindi channels are now delivering 100 news in 100 minutes or something like that in a fadafat format, giving you all kind of news when you are just having your breakfast. TV news will survive, Vikram, because it is the medium that provides a catalog for the news that one has to know. TV news has always been about innovation in gathering news, in its presentation, and now more than ever before for its distribution. Actually, it has made news very democratic. The screen has changed, and from what it used to be a uh, three by four to now 16 by nine, the most urgent and most important thing now today is in the palm of your human hand, which is where the news broadcast is happening these days, which is finally leading to a big television screen. TV news willingness to adopt, I can tell you, and as long as the news content of the TV remains relevant, there will be a demand for it. Because there will be always be people, whether old or young, who will have a perpetual desire to know. And as long as we are curious and have the inherent, inherent ability to ask right questions, I think the news medium will survive ever than, bigger than ever before. Thank you.